Hey guys, welcome to another uh, recent viewing video. I watched a movie last night, finally, uh, a couple days into my vacation, and I, I got to sit down and watch my first movie. I have a lot of movies to catch up on and try to knock out while I'm on this vacation, so uh, anyway, I started off last night with, as you saw in the title, The Equalizer. This is the new Denzel Washington movie that came out last year based, from what I can tell, off of the old TV show called The Equalizer that I have seen before. Uh, I watched it a long time ago. Uh, and it was cool. I mean, it's an 80s show, so uh, those nostalgia glasses may be in full effect. But I remember enjoying the TV show. I, I remember enjoying the concept of it. And when I saw that they were going to do a, a movie based on it, uh, that was kind of cool. And uh, Denzel Washington, in my opinion, was a pretty good choice for the character in this movie. I mean, obviously there are some major differences between Denzel Washington and the guy who played uh, the character in the TV show. I'm not looking at the, the Wikipedia page for the show. I'm looking at it for the movie. So anyway, you know, because that guy was a British guy and he was white. Denzel Washington is not white, not British. But Denzel Washington uh, here lately has done some movies I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, Flight being one that I remember in particular. I'm going to look at his filmography real quick. Starting with newer stuff. <clears throat> I haven't seen Two Guns. I haven't seen Safe House or Unstoppable or The Book of Eli. Actually, I haven't seen most of the movies he's done recently aside from Flight. But Flight was really good. Um... What else have I seen of his? Jeez, it's been a long time since any of the movies of his that I've watched. Good Lord, I would say there's actually not been very many. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I seem to remember him in a few mo movies beyond Flight. Uh, but I really enjoyed that one. And, uh, and he's pretty well respected and, uh, you know, considered to be pretty... Pretty good all around. So anyway, that's that. He was great in this movie, in my opinion. Um, the parallels I made with this movie and something else were like the Taken series, where you basically have like an older guy who, for some reason, is sort of thrust into... I guess I'm not talking so much about the characters. I'm talking about the actors, just how, how Liam Neeson has kind of blown up as an action star recently, even though he's an older uh, gentleman, Denzel is kind of the same way. Let's see, Denzel is 60 at this point. It's pretty impressive that he's still putting out the kind of work that he's doing. But where this one was different from Taken, was Taken seems to be more of a knockdown, drag out, fights, car chases, explosion kind of, kind of movie. And the Equalizer was a little less of that. There were still fights, there were still explosions, there was still all this and that. But it seemed like it was done with maybe just a little bit more of a cerebral frame of mind. Although I was reading on the Wikipedia page, some of the uh, negative or mixed reactions to the movie had to do with like a lack of character development, which is something that I thought the movie did suffer from. Didn't really know who this guy was, who he used to work for, what, what he was doing. Uh, and that's kind of the way I, I, I still felt about it when it was all said and done. You knew that he was something in a previous life, you know, in his younger days, and that he was cut off from that somehow or another. But, yeah, I don't know. I just, his character was cool. He had noble intentions. He, uh, he cared for the people who were around him. He seemed to be a little OCD because he would go to this cafe in the middle of the night and he would sit down and he would move all of his utensils to a certain place, put his book over here at a certain spot. Even if he was going to pick the book up a second later and start reading it, he wrapped up his own tea bag and, in a napkin from home and then would bring it and put it in there each time as the, uh, the cafe owner guy was pouring the hot water in there. And uh, he would talk and interact with the people, but typically seemed to stay on his own. Finally, he talks to Chloe Grace Moretz's character, who was like a call girl. 
and uh, seemed to be the main impetus for his character deciding that he had to do something and uh, use his particular set of skills. Like I said, it seemed that's where it seemed like it was kind of borrowing from Taken, but then again it was actually based on a TV show that came out years and years before Taken, so maybe Taken was borrowing from The Equalizer. Maybe they were both borrowing from somewhere else. But uh, I just liked it. I don't know, his, his obsession with like timing things and... When, when the movie, even though it's probably no nothing practical whatsoever, when the movie would go into these moments where things would slow down and he would be noticing tattoos and necklaces and who was holding what weapon and all that kind of stuff, uh, it that was just it was just really immersive for me. You know, it was like okay, this is that moment for just a brief glimpse. We get to look inside the mind of this guy and kind of see things through his eyes. And uh, I just, like I said, I wish we could have known a little bit more about who he was in a past life. Um, but I don't know. This, this the whole story. I'm not going to give away plot points. I'm not going to make this another video where I, excuse me, where I like basically explain the whole entire movie away. But it was very, very cool. It was very, very satisfying. It's just over it's about two hours and 50 minutes long so it was a nice good length um, not too short not too overdone for what it was and I read on the Wikipedia page that there is talk of a sequel which you know at the end of the movie it, it really tips its cap to the TV show and you're like yeah I could see where this could go on and be something else somewhere down the road so it was very very cool I really really liked it I went into it with low expectations I don't remember much about it. Like when it was in the theater, I remember they advertised it. I remember it was Denzel. It was like an action movie, and it was, you know, based off of the old TV show or reimagining of it. And then I didn't hear anything about it. And then uh, it came out on DVD and Blu ray a couple weeks ago. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and check this out and see what I think of it. Now it is definitely a movie that'll go on my uh, need to buy list. Uh, I, d I definitely want to have it to, you know, check it out again in the future. And um, and I'll be looking forward to this sequel if it does materialize. As long as they continue to have Denzel Washington as the character. Uh, also, Antoine Fuqua, the guy who directs it, uh, I think... I don't know, I'm just one of those people who's like, if somebody else does this movie, how is it going to be different from what I saw in this first one that I enjoyed? So I'd like to see him come back and continue to do it as well. I know a lot of movie series, uh, Twilight, maybe Hunger Games, I don't know. I haven't looked into that. But a lot of series of popular books or characters turned into movies, and there's more than one movie. They get different directors, and each movie feels like a different thing, not like it should have all went together. Would hate to see that happen with The Equalizer. Anyway, I thought it was really good. Uh, if you like movies like Taken, if you like movies that have a more cerebral take on like an action vibe, if you like Denzel, uh, any of those reasons, check it out. At least rent it. God, I, I know I sound like I just sit on the fence with this kind of thing because I, I could say it about almost every movie. Even if, movies, if, if a movie is total shit, I would still say, hey, you should at least rent it and uh, you know form your own opinion about it. That's even if a movie is literally a festering pile of crap and is well hated across the spectrum. Why not check it out? The only thing I could ever say is if you see a movie that was, you know, some sort of a genre or type or whatever that you would just never enjoy, then don't watch it. But if you're pretty easily uh, or easy and open minded about uh, things, at least rent a movie and check it out. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Equalizer, I enjoyed it quite good, and I'm looking forward to seeing anything future uh, Equalizer material, uh, as well as knocking out some more movies and doing some more of these videos in the next week. So that's that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.